guys, Mark Cross from Stephen Buzzer in the car. We are in the car. q and aing on the M4 ring. Um, both hands are on the wheel. Stephen is holding all the devices. Don't anyone report me to anybody. <laughs> Question time, <laughs> Q&A, Ask Old Guru, Q&A channel. Hello, welcome to my Q&A channel. Welcome, Stephen. Hello. To the Q&A channel. Questions about knees. Let's get knee in. Let's. Let's stick our knees in. Is that, let's get stuck in. Yeah, let's get stuck in. Right, Stephen, question. Knee me up. So this is from Craig. Hello, Craig. Thanks for buying me up. Yeah. Thanks for posting the question. So he says, hi, Mark. Hello. They all tend to start like that. And Stephen, I'll put that And Stephen, come on, and Stephen, yeah. the, the buzz man, the buzz of golf. So, great videos. Just like to know. Listen in, come yeah, on. Uh, great videos, just like to know, thank you. <laughs> just like to know. Why they're so great. If. If. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Sorry. Drum roll, please. Yeah, go on. My left knee flexing towards yeah. my right knee is a problem I should be addressing. Good question, interesting question, and. And I don't mean this rudely, but it's an absolutely ridiculous question, but one that is so commonly asked. asked. It, your left knee flexing has no relevance to anything because it's an isolated thing. That it, if you relate left knee moving into a club delivery, then possibly you yeah. can change it if it improves a delivery. And the more people get around thinking this way, the better they'll be at goal. So it's a great question, I'm being silly, but it's, it's a question that when people ask me that in lessons, I just go, what, you know, if you ask a scientist that, they would go, well, I, I don't know what you mean. Show me the data, show me the evidence of a left knee moving, yeah. making it a good job. Um, what I see as a general rule is if a left knee is moving across towards the right knee a lot, often the right knee goes a long way, hips can then sometimes over-rotate, shoulders over-rotate, strike can become an issue. So I would maybe look at moving knees differently to control strike if that was the issue. Yes. What do you say? Yeah, it, it, it would be a stability issue for me. Yeah. So if, if somebody, if, if you go, well, I, I hit the best shot I've ever hit and then the next shot I can't even hit the ball. Yeah. You go, well, maybe if we were to improve your stability, you would improve your shots. Yeah. So when you're looking at stability, I'm looking at sort of the pelvis region. Yeah. So then as soon as the knees are very compromised, the pelvis tends to, like you say, over-rotate and do different things. So... But it's it's a funny question, is it? It's like people say, should my left arm be straight? Or should I should I always turn my hips more or less? It's, it's, for me, it's got to be relative to an actual event, an actual delivery, which causes an actual yeah, shot. definitely. It's a surreal question. I think if aliens landed tomorrow and they understood the... Uh, the process of what you're trying to do to hit the ball straight, they would look at that question and just go, "What? That's not a question." Well, I would imagine they would. First thing they would do is buy the app, and they would subscribe to your channel, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Steve Buzzer Golf. <laughs> what is your channel? Give it a little plug. Buzzer Golf. Buzzer Golf. Home of home of the Buzzman. Home of the Buzzman. Lots of good videos from the Buzzman. Buzz Logic. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's an interest. I don't know if you should move your knee differently because I've not seen your club delivery. Um, it's, I mean, Jack Nicholas left foot come up, left knee moves a long way towards the right knee. He was quite good. Yeah. Um, someone, I know another player, like, I don't know, like a I don't know, Nick Faldo who's maybe going to contain his hip movement yes. a bit more. Uh, his knee won't move as much. He won six majors to Jack's 18, so who, who's better, who's worse? It's just got to work for your delivery. Oh, no, definitely, and, I, and I'll have lessons come that I will actually encourage it because I need they need to get some rotation. They might be very unflexible. So, like a senior golfer, if I was to go down the route of trying to stabilise and stop him doing that, it's probably going to make a quarter of a swing and not be able to hit it whatsoever. No rhythm, yeah. nothing. Yeah. If when I get somebody else that looks a bit floppy and you looks like they've got loads of power. <laughs> But they can't control it, that's when I go down that other route and yes, I would start making the change. Cool, good stuff. Thank you for the question, Craig. It was Craig, Thank wasn't you. it? It was Craig. Um, it was a good question and a silly question. And I yes. don't mean that rudely. Those questions are the best because we learn from them so much more. Ask the questions now, no matter how silly. There's no silly question. No. If you don't know the answer, it's not a silly question. Um, even though I said it was. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. As always, thank you, Stephen, for your time. Speak thank to you. you all very soon.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.